Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm a certified drive clean inspector here at Jim Tubman Chevrolet. Today I'll be showing you how an emissions test is performed as well as explain when and why the test should be performed. Now we'll be using the Ontario test unit to perform the drive clean test. To be able to perform an emissions test, you must be a certified drive clean inspector. I'll now scan my user ID and enter into the system. So at this point, the testing unit will prompt you to scan the vehicle's VIN directly off the vehicle. At this point, we will confirm the license plate on the vehicle matches the one on the work order. Now we're looking for the vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating on the VIN plaque. We also need to confirm uh, the odometer reading. To ensure we are properly inspecting the vehicle, uh, the testing unit will prompt you to turn the ignition off and disconnect the data link connector. At this point, we will connect the OBD cable to the data link connector inside the vehicle. At this point, it's time to take uh, pictures of the vehicle to ensure you are inspecting the proper vehicle. With the vehicle running, we are now ready to perform the emissions test. Now that the vehicle emissions test is complete, we have to disconnect the data link connector and turn off the vehicle. So at this point, the testing unit will show you whether the vehicle has passed or failed. The testing unit will prompt you to sign on the signature pad to confirm that you are the proper inspector throughout the inspection. It is important to perform an emissions test every two years after the vehicle is seven or more years old. This ensures an efficient running vehicle with the least amount of pollution as well as good fuel economy. An emissions test is required by the Ministry in order to receive your new license plate sticker. So book your emissions test here today at Jim Tubman Chevrolet.